Welcome, live audience on hey, Facebook. Audience. That was a, was a stirring, ran, that stirring rendition. That. Yeah, stirring rendition Ween. of uh, uh, Ween's uh, <laughs> <laughs> unrehearsed version of Ween's. <laughs> Got to do a disclaimer there. Yeah. But I think, you know, we'll see. You'll see. You we'll know, see. We'll see. come back Hopefully. to that one. Yeah, maybe there's some people wasted out there this early in the morning. And <laughs> they, that was just what they needed. They've been up all night. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, hey, welcome. We're the Beer and Gear Show. Uh, this is uh, Music Villa. And we are uh, uh, doing this. This is Joe there. It's Blaze. Uh, Blaze. And uh, so we have this nice, lovely show uh, we like to bring to you. We're going Facebook Live right now. That's exciting. Um, Instagram. We're, or, or Instagram. We're huge. Whoa. On Instagram. This thing's huge. It's taken off. Tens it's huge. of followers. Uh, yeah, tens. we've got uh, John Mayer coming in later. And uh, we've mm-hmm. got um, Warren Haynes is going to do a slide. Demo, and then um, and then we're gonna have Tommy Emanuel come in and talk about his guitars. Mm-hmm. You're talking about the uh, that's just this one episode, people. You're talking about the mechanic, the the real estate agent, and the uh, yeah, yeah, they're not yeah, the, 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 the counselor, people you yeah. think of. They're just yeah. local community members that are <laughs> yeah. part of the Chamber of Commerce. Warren, they're coming in. Yeah. Uh, it's part of their Warren community Hayes, service. The dentist. The dentist. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they all embezzled in their uh, <laughs> respected businesses, and they um they have to do community service, so they're coming in. Come in. Um, so anyway, <laughs> uh. It's Welcome. Come and pick it's gonna be up, exciting pick up show. Dog poop. Here. <laughs> yeah. So uh, and we're playing some strats. We got some nice new strats. strats. Uh, yep. You know, it's exciting. We're gonna have Gibson soon at Music Villa here in lovely Bozeman, Montana. And uh, you know, check out our website. We always got the acoustic letter. Oh, just plugging away all plug these in. plugs. Uh, Man, uh, plug. I know. Uh, <laughs> the um. So anyway, we uh we got all this cool stuff coming in. Uh, but we're playing strats today. Damn it. Yep. And uh, so what do we got? We got you know some cool strats. So, uh, American ones. The new American performer yeah, Mega. series. They're brand yeah. new. So they're called Performer series. Yeah. But cool let's uh, we'll do a whole video on these. Let's get uh, let's get to our guest. Huh? Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope he brought some nice, lovely beverages for us because I'm thirsty. Yeah. And uh, I really want to drink. Let's uh, yeah. let's see what we got. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Who could it be? What's up, Aaron? <laughs> <laughs> That's just his theme music. Aaron yeah. has to play that. <laughs> All right. Sorry. Every time he walks I in the room, to... I get a rush. Yeah, every time there's a rush when he walks in. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. Here, hold that. Thank you, sir. Here, I'll uh, move my thing. Here you go. Uh, Aaron Banfield, everybody. <laughs> he puts the band in Banfield. He puts the field in Banfield. Um, welcome. Welcome to our live. Thanks, we got yeah. a big, exciting live show today. We got three things um, plugged in, too, Blaze. So thanks for having me. I made it so everyone has a guitar. Oh, Joe! That's awfully thoughtful so. of you, Joe. Um, we're just, you know, we're making this up as we go along. Yeah, so, uh, what'd you bring for us to drink? Let's get into Brought the important stuff. Dean Zesty Booch. Awesome. Nice. local Dean's Boochery. Thanks, Thanks the local, yeah, yeah. Dean's Booth. Awesome. Uh, We've had this before. Bringing the local thing full circle. And uh, yeah. I can't get enough, man. Love it. What uh, flavor mm. did we do today? This is Ginger Lovers. Oh, nice. It yeah. looks like the when classic. I was on a road trip with my old band, Dr. Gravy. <laughs> uh, Those bottles you left on the I was a tiny. I was yeah. tiny tanks, they called me. We have to stop every <laughs> two seconds <laughs> to take a whiz. Yeah. Trucker and bottle. then I resorted to go, bottles. Go. I'm just saying the color gives me a certain These bottles with nostalgia. the stopper are, uh, you know, they're safer in the car. <laughs> Those are good. <laughs> yeah. Less spillage. Oh, yeah. I've had some spills before. But, you know, people were upset. <laughs> Got it on their blankets. <laughs> Oh we did a show. Uh, we did a show go, once uh, at the um, what's the big rugby thing they call the big? Oh, party the there? Maggot Fest. Zesty boots. Cheers, everyone. Zesty hey, how about a cheers there? Yes, uh, Happy February. It's freezing out oh, here in yeah, Montana take lately. Some, don't take some of that. Yeah. Cheers to the all the people all right. in the Midwest freezing, the West and everywhere. That's crazy. It's cheers, winter boys. time. That's what happens. Frigid. What mm-hmm. flavor is this? Uh, ginger lovers. Oh yeah, that's good yeah. ginger right there. That's good, man. Not good. My wife's working on doing her own kombucha at home. Nice. She got from work the they call it the, the mother scoby, or whatever the, the scoby. scoby yeah. I think it's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> it's like this big. It's, I felt like she was brewing with her placenta from when her first child. <laughs> like it was just this uh-huh. thing, and I'm like, what the hell is that? <laughs> but I had to drink good. it. She's That's getting the next is. batch is gonna be killer because she twit. Not enough mango or pomegranate. She's trying to flavor it up. Then she put too much. Now next one is going to be ooh, nice. Gonna be so right. Good. This stuff though. This stuff's awesome. This they do a good this job. is what the bar is uh, up for booch, man. This stuff is good. It tastes fresh. It's yeah. Not too everything. It's just perfect. Mm-hmm. I saw mm-hmm. Dean the other day. So if you're in Bozeman, check I out uh, Dean's Colorado booch. 
Yeah. 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 yeah Dean, local local musician. Let's, uh, let's um, unveil the old board here. Yeah, yeah. Now, what do we got? We got a pedal board here. Oh, look at this. Now we've had pedal boards here before. Yes. And they were yeah. huge and impressive. This, uh, uh, and then there's yours. <laughs> not, not very impressive. <laughs> speaks, speaks to Blaze. No, yeah. <laughs> just kidding. Because I have um, my, I have the same pedal, this thing. Yep. With similar kind of things, so I'm you very, can uh, I, I can appreciate your getting to the point. You know, yeah. you know, we just have a few pedals we need. Yep. Yeah. yeah, you can only fit so much on here. Um, yeah. And that could be a good thing. I've got the wah. This is a tremolo tuner, which I could spend hours talking about. <laughs> yep. I've got a BB preamp, That's also a, a big muff, because when you have one, you need two, you know, distortion pedals. Mm -hmm. Get those and freaky zones. And then just a delay pedal, TC Electronic. It's pretty um, good sounding delay. I haven't seen one of those in a while. But those yeah, good. it's got a lot of settings. I usually just have the one setting, and I kind of stick with that. Um, but usually, I mean, this has a, uh, a chorus and a vibrato on it. Oh, nice. So yep. you can kind of add that, too, so... I like that. Um, Use the delay instead of having a chorus or a phase or anything. Just yeah. kind of get that out of a delay. I like, yeah. I like that, too. Yeah, so probably this delay and the wah is what I use the most. Yep. Um, other than the tuner, of tuner. course. <laughs> Got to stay in tune. That's very important. So, yeah. um, uh, real real quick, let's talk about your bands and then how you're... Are you using this in all the bands? Yeah, for the most part. Um, yeah, so I'm in four bands currently. Um Permafunk, Cole and the Thorns, King Ropes, and Bozambique. And then I'm also just playing solo, which I don't use this for. Um, just you in a talk box. Yeah, just yeah, me yeah, in a talk yeah, box. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and a kazoo. Yeah. Yep, a kazoo. Um, tap, tap shoes. For the whole night. Yeah. <laughs> tap shoes. A little bit of hand boning. Light hand boning. <laughs> yeah, so I the use... Puppets might come out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sorry. All the pedals throughout the bands. Um, this big muff is mostly for King Ropes. I play bass in that band. Um, well, what, what are, are these your bands? bass and all that, too? Just go... You just that? Do it up. You just plug bass as well? Yeah, I don't really use all... These pedals with the... He's the, the tuner and the fuzz. Yeah. yeah. Um, Do you... Uh, now, okay, this, let's describe, because uh, it's good to know when you know pedal, when you look at a pedal board, but what kind of music are you doing with it? Okay. Like, what's each band doing? Um, so, King Ropes is kind of psych rock. Um, I guess I would describe it like as... Like psychic rock? Like magic ball? Like, <laughs> oh, Psychedelic Neo, rock? Neo, you want a cookie? <laughs> I would maybe describe it as uh, King Ropes with Bob Dylan as their lead singer. Um, so I use the big muff and that. It kind of gets weird. Or not. What did I say, King Ropes? It's like Vel uh, Velvet Underground. No, I meant uh, Butthole Surfers. With, oh, yeah. With Bob Dylan okay, as their... I was thinking about right. what you were talking I'm like... Words. Bob Dylan's your Bob singer? Dylan with uh, Gibby Haynes from Butthole, so Butthole Surfers, Surfers as with the lead Bob singer. Yeah. Of Bob Dylan. That's you know that is one of the biggest tra <laughs> one of the biggest tragedies of rock and roll is those two didn't play together. I know. Yeah. It's like Dylan. <laughs> but now and the we dead, have it. But now we Dylan have it as, yes. as King Ropes. Um, <laughs> well, that's intriguing. That's, yeah. I want to hear that. Then there's Cole and the Thorns, which is kind of uh, soul reggae. A lot of delay. A lot of the wah on that one. Yep. Yep. Um, you guys have right. horns. That's kind of like islandy. There's horns. Yeah, ukulele. It's like going on vacation. It's a hot right. islandy fun. Feels like you're on the beach. Yeah. yeah, that's that's good. That's a good way to. You got be. Andy. Is Andy and two of the Andy's in permafunk and Cole. Yep. Yeah. And yeah, Cole and the Thorns and permafunk are mostly the same band, minus a couple. Add a couple members. Um, cool. With permafunk, I use the delay, the wah a lot, um, the distortions. Not so much. The big muff is mostly for. King Ropes. Ropes. Yep. Um, mm -hmm. And then Bozambique's kind of Afro Cuban. Um, and really, I just use this one occasionally, the oh, tremolo. Yeah. Cool. Um, nice. I don't, That's I don't cool, use man. this one as much, but that one's more, yeah, Afro Cuban kind of. Is Adam playing in Bozambique? That's Burke? pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, he is, yeah. Cool. Um, nice. So w they all have gigs in the next couple weeks, so look out. You got stuff online, you got music. Let's see, they're all online. Like check it out. They're all. Kind yeah. of either on Spotify or a SoundCloud. I think their album. I think the Cole, Cole album. Cole Thorns that you guys is on Spotify. Yeah, and I think it cool. won. It won something. It won like best album. Best of album the of year. the year for huh? the Bozone area. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Awesome. yeah. We had a lot of fun. You guys recorded that at Jake's, uh, Jake's place. Yep. Yeah, with uh, Jake and, uh, and, the and Chuck. Nice. Mm -hmm. um, turned out real, real nice. Um, Permafunk's been in the studio recently. Continuing, we're gonna try and put out an album soon. King Ropes has also been in oh, the yeah. studio. Sweet, cool. Where King Ropes busy. record? Where'd you guys go? Uh, just Dave's 
uh, place out oh, off yeah, of Rouse, yeah, and yeah, then yeah. yeah. So we had Chuck for that too. Um, nice. Where are you from? I grew up in Bozeman, um, but I've traveled around a lot. I started playing piano in the second grade while I lived in Egypt. Whoa! <laughs> And then I started Not playing. Not too many people can say that. No. Yeah. <laughs> did you have an Egyptian piano teacher? I did, yeah. yeah. What nice. kind? Are they doing classical piano? Like, what are they? Uh, yeah, I did. I mean, it's... I went with the classical. Um, they have the option of not classical, but... Um, doing some boogie-woogie Coming blues. from America <laughs> is kind of... That's the direction I went. Okay. Um, and then where else? So, started in Egypt. Yeah. How long were you there? Just two years, and I was six to eight, so... I was pretty young. Um, I started yeah, clarinet in eighth grade. Started playing guitar. I guess in a, I guess clarinet was sixth grade. Guitar nice. was eighth grade. Nice. You ever gonna bring the clarinet back? I might. <laughs> might have to for some <laughs> certain songs. Benny Goodman, the, butthole the surfer. <laughs> <laughs> so guitar was like eighth grade. Is thirteen yeah. years old or so. Um, and then 13. actually, I got. I think one of my first guitars was from Oaxaca, Mexico. Ooh, nice. So I took lessons Sweet. in the Z- Zocalo down there. Cool. Um, wow. So I've kind of got a lot of world influence. When were you down in Oaxaca? Guitar. The summers in like 2003 or four. Wow. Yeah. World music. So you're playing world music. Yeah. You, you, yep. This is so inspired, I'm kind of all inspired all over the y'all. place as far as genres of music. Um, that's cool. That's good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And the instruments stuff. and I guess I play guitar, but I also play numerous other instruments as well. Who's your yeah big influence on like rock guitar or like electric guitar? Uh, definitely Jimmy Page was probably why I started playing guitar. Um, but I've been listening to Bombino a lot. I like that recently. Yeah. Um, we were no playing idea. that in the store. No idea who that oh, is. We played it in the store. It's kind of like African dude. Ali Farka tour. Yeah. Uh, um, There's he, the Dan, uh, Dan Arbach produced that one record for him. I got a couple years ago. We, oh wait, I played was it when you st- played a long time ago too or something? It's like last week. <laughs> <laughs> it felt like two years. <laughs> it's, it's, been, it's been a while. It's yeah. been a long week, yeah. Patriots won the Super Bowl. It was a rough, rough week. <laughs> um, but they, uh, okay. So, Man, um, that was a boring Super Boy, that was Bowl. A boring oh, God, game. that was the most God, boring game. It was a really bad It was ending. almost as boring as the halftime show. Oh. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It was Not bad. Like I, was fell, I fell asleep in the middle of the game, and I had nightmares about that freaking halftime show. <laughs> <laughs> I woke up in the middle like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, uh, yeah. It's, you know. It's weird when they have the halftime. Okay, we're going to do a commentary on it. <laughs> we're going to derail it. Yeah, it's past its prime of talking about but <laughs> Let's talk about what it. What is the audience watching the Super Bowl? Bunch of, well, families. It's a, you know, it's a big, it's a sports event. Is it, tw- is it nine-year-old girls? <laughs> no. Then why are they picking, making music for, having music for nine-year-old girls doing that? Are they thinking, oh, we'll have the whole family watch. That's so it'll be exciting. Uh, they did have no. Big Boy from Outcast. He was the best part of the on family. Show. Yeah, yeah, that wasn't very family that, friendly. That's he true. Was, uh, that's true. His thirty yeah. seconds. Of they had to get edgy. Was, yeah. was good. They had to get edgy. <laughs> yeah, they gave him one chorus. The shirt off. Uh, who who would take their shirt off to? They're like, well, they get attention. Like well, the Super Bowls. <laughs> the Super Bowls in, in Don't Atlanta. Don't watch the last video. <laughs> You know, I'm kind of annoyed with the Big Boy thing. They're like, the Super Bowls in Atlanta. We need an Atlanta guy. We're gonna hire Big yeah. Boy to represent our city. Nothing. In, this is not Atlanta's fault. This is which NFL's they have a fault. huge hip hop culture. Yeah, over this there. is a diss on purely on the NFL. So yeah, so w- one of the pioneers sure. of Atlanta hip hop, Big Boy, who's the super talented, you know, Atlanta guy. Uh, they bring him in. Yeah, you can have one chorus. We're gonna give Adam. Yeah. We're gonna give this white dude from LA like thirty minutes, or five, we go. seven songs. Joe's rant. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna give this California I asshole it was yeah. all these songs. To Here you go, Nassau big boy. Feeling. Yeah, you can have one chorus since you're in Atlanta, in your hometown. Right. You know? It was more of a. And he was the best part. Everyone of it. don't get mad it, at us. He did us, drive we'll up in that. a Cadillac. That was nice. And he yeah. killed. And he crushed it yeah, for thirty right, seconds. We're gonna do that so everyone doesn't get mad at us, and then we can continue on. Yeah. I went to take a leak in the middle of the halftime show. I miss big boy. You know, that's why I'm annoyed. <laughs> I'm a bunch of freaking Adam Levine. Yeah. Don't need to see Adam Levine again the rest of my life. I'm good. Weren't they were popular I know what to get you for Christmas now. 15 years ago, right? <laughs> I don't see how they're Well, that's the thing. My, my wife was like, oh, yeah, I remember those songs. Or, you know, like it was like everything was so. I mean, he's he does that TV show or whatever, so he, people know him. But, that's true. But it is a lot of songs that, that were like, me neither. No. But, Hoarders? Um, Hoarders? Uh, That's what he's on, He's right? on Hoarders. <laughs> <laughs> he's hoarding bad he's tattoos. He's hoarding bad tattoos all over. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
So anyway, uh, well, I'm glad we've covered all that. That's good. You want a guy that hey, has a California a tattoo to come out in Atlanta and represent. Yeah, you know? that, that was kind of random, Well, too. the Rams are from <laughs> Well, it's California. not like you can change that. <laughs> he could have just taped that over and... Um, put on Atlanta with let's, a sharpie. <laughs> let's uh, let's let's wrap up the Aaron story real quick so we have a jam. Yeah. So, oh yeah. So then I went to forward. college for jazz guitar. Uh, moved back to Bozeman about six or seven years ago, and just been playing around yep. with local musicians at the open mic. Um, Where'd you go for jazz guitar? I went to Portland State University in Oregon. So you're doing some jazz, you're taking jazz, get, that's, how was yeah. that? Is that cool? It was fun. It was, uh, I probably partied a little too much during college, which college never happens. happens. But, but at least um, you're doing something cool. I was like, ooh, liberal arts. <laughs> I'm just going to party and be a dumbass. <laughs> uh, yeah, anyway. I mean, my homework was playing guitar for the most part, so awesome. that was That's fun. pretty sweet. Um, good Are you music studying anything particular? Do you like Grant Green? Who do you, who's your favorite? Yeah, Grant uh, Green's great. I like Wes Montgomery as far as jazz guitarists go. Yes, he's great. awesome. Um, but it was more just to like get a a way of learning and like understanding music. I don't play as much jazz anymore, um, but it was nice to you know get that background and I can apply it to music nowadays. So yeah, yeah. I think you can play any jazz to any kind of music. Yeah. Yeah, spice it up. Yep. So cool. Well, uh, um, I don't know. Jazz, let's jam, jam a little jam. bit. Let's uh, yeah. Let's do some Afro-Cuban. <laughs> um. <laughs> That's the, the first, when you first That's learn Afro-Cuban, Let's, like uh, I went to school for yeah, Afro-Cuban you, beats. Why don't you plug into your pedal That's board what now. it is. Okay. Think- so just...
Tarsus went out to with each other. All right, very uh. <laughs> that was like a the re, we're calling that the reenactment of I like uh, Egypt, part. Egypt slavery. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Uh, you can just now I want to do just put it in. It's just groovy. I was in the car. I went shopping <laughs> the other day. The Kurt Wilder. On Sunday. Oh, on a Sunday. It was mild out and it was okay. <laughs> Bought some sunglasses. I'll be home. Gas yeah. station. Yeah. It was bright out. I'll be home. It's called day any day, day could be hump day. Like day you, called day, day, day. If you day don't work, day. if you don't work, and <laughs> any day every could day be hump, is hump day. day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, every day is hump day when you're unemployed. Yeah. Um, so, uh, <laughs> well, what do you say? I think that's good. Did you, did you say everything that's on your mind? Do you have any? Check. Uh, we'll check out on one. Uh, Cole and the Thorns. Yeah. Bozambique. Perm- Permafunk, Permafunk. King Ropes. King Ropes. Aaron Banfield, solo yep. artist. I got Thanks gigs for the coming up. Yeah, Beach. no problem. Thanks, sir. Gigs are Cheers. coming up. You're in the area. Dean's in the area. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Enjoy. Um, Stay warm out there. Yeah. Let's get through to the spring. And um, that's Joe. He's Blaze. I'm Blaze. This is Aaron Banfield. Our guest, Aaron Banfield. And we are Thanks uh, for having me. the, the Thanks, gear, Aaron. beer and gear.
And uh, for Music Villa, check our website. We have all this fun gear. Thanks, guys. Thanks. All the, what, two viewers that fell asleep There's and actually had this on. Uh, <laughs> cheers to y'all. Um, enjoy. Enjoy the day. Let's, uh, let's take our shirts off. Okay. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> We're each going to have some new tattoos I want to show you guys. <laughs> <laughs>